All right, hello everyone, welcome to Asia. Time is 21.45, New York local time. Runtime of this video is going to be, I'm gonna aim for one hour. Um, you might see me take a trade, you might not. Um, I do have a couple of uh, Russian speaking audience members, and so I'm about to speak a little bit of Russian. It might not be perfect, um, but I wanted to make them feel welcome. Всем привет на мой канал, друзья моих русских зрителей и все русских говорящих зрителей. Я приветствую вас на мой канал. Здесь, конечно, мы поговорим о трейдинг. Сейчас я торгую просто in Q. Конечно же, хочу хочу показывать вас. Так, так что, как рус, русские слова для этого? Um, risk management, да, покажу вас, показываю вас. И uh, все, uh, я приветствую вас на мой канал. П пожалуйста, под подписывайтесь на мой канал. Uh, это было бы очень uh, хорошо для меня. Я, я бы благодарен вам для этого. Um, so, I uh, just wanted to give that to my... Um, well, a little bit more, and then I'm done. Um, здесь, конечно же, как вы видите на NQ, um, это очень медленно. Um, сегодняшнюю ночью мы ожидали бы это. Uh, у нас есть, um, как, как это, как это, um, рынка закрыться ра ранее, чем обычно, uh, завтра, и поэтому мы мы бы ожидали, чтобы uh, рынка не бы двигалась очень много сейчас. Мы бы ожидали, чтобы uh, рынка была в диапазоне, как и мы видим сейчас. Так что мы работаем здесь uh, в голове, что диапазон будет um, и все. I think краткие трейдс, краткие трейдс. Okay, um, that is for my Russian speaking audience. I know there's a few of you. Uh, you might not see me take a trade this video. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I still think that we're working down the new week opening gap. Um, Runtime of this video, I don't want it to go over an hour. ICT, Inner Circle Trader, Michael, came out with a new video tonight. I'm very excited for that uh, on breaker blocks. You know that I don't particularly use breaker blocks. Uh, I love advanced gap theory. That is probably my number one model. I'm not going to lie to you. Advanced gap theory and standard deviation projections has got to be my number one model by far. Uh, but that, then again, I use other models as well. But advanced gap theory is my number one model. And you should have one, by the way. So you should, it's nasty in here. Um, you should have a model. Okay, required SEC and CFTT, CFTC disclosures. The following is simulated trading. Trading involves substantial risk, including more than you initially invest. Um, I think it's all I need for this one. Uh, simulated trading uh, may not represent periods of illiquidity in the market, may not represent uh, live trading. The following is simulated trading. It is not uh, a live brokerage account. <sighs> okay, uh, so let's get into the good stuff. Now that we've been through that. Working on a volume imbalance here that is inverting a SIBI here. That looks like it's inverting. We're probably going to go short here. One. See if we can get our way back down a new week opening gap. Slowly, slowly. Going to go short one. Stop is going to go way above. Like, y'all are probably thinking that's a crazy ass stop, but it's external liquidity, basically, right? Internal liquidity, probably internal, external is up here. That's probably a protected high. So, I don't want to let price, you know, make an illiquid push above this high and get stopped out. What is going to be our target? Well, we failed to make our way into New Week opening gap, so I'm going to say CE of that. It's going to be all over right there. Dumb. Dumb would it. I don't know how to, by the way, если ты, если ты говоришь uh, по-русски, я ищу трейдинг терм для, как бы, uh, inefficiency, я не знаю, как сказать inefficiency на русском языке, пожалуйста, 
пак коментира вот а здесь пониже как сказать inefficiency на русском liquidity я знаю liquidity но я не знаю а inefficiency um, I know diapason is range and that's you know I don't know how to say short right I am short I have sold the market I'm sitting short I я бы я бы не знал как это сказать на русском так что Uh, okay, many of you uh, are probably frightened there that I speak Russian. Um, again, I don't care what you think. Um, okay, we've been through that. We've been through my lack of caring what you think. That's probably enough of that. I'm a little bit caffeinated right now. I did take a uh, uh, a coffee, a very um, Black Rifle coffee, if you know that company. So I'm very caffeinated right now. We're also working on some water. Big time water. It's basically just me talking at you. Probably gonna put on a little Kit Boga. By the way, great channel, Kit Boga. Scammer Payback. Fantastic channels. Highly recommend. Yabwe. Yabwe recommendable Kit Boga. Canal. Na YouTube. Конечно же, я слушаю на электрон, электрон, электронную музыку. Конечно же. А, 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 неужели? Так что. Um, I think I have some German speaking audience. I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, willkommen uh, bei meiner Kanal. Uh, mein Deutsch ist nicht so gut jetzt wie mein Russisch. Aber ich versuche. So. Ich, ich weiß... Uh, alles ist vorbei, ich kann nicht Deutsch jetzt, so uh, Trading, ich, ich weiß nicht wie das zu sagen, Trading ich würde nicht uh, ich würde nicht wissen, wie Short zu sagen, oder Sell oder Buy, Kaufen, Kaufen ist Buy Verkaufen ist Sell, right ich habe verkauft, ich habe verkauft, aber wie würde man sagen, dass ich bin Short ich bin Short, vielleicht ich weiß nicht also Uh, ich kann nur ein bisschen Deutsch aus Schwaben. Ja, ich bin eigentlich zweimal in Deutschland gewesen. Uh, um herum, alle uh, um Deutschland. Ich bin nach uh, Fessen und Ossen des Deutschlands gewesen. Ich habe uh, meistens meine Zeit uh, im Süden uh, verbracht. So. Aber schon seit lange, seitdem dass ich uh, uh, an Deutschland war. So. Uh, ja, nicht, nicht oft benutzt bei mir, aber ich kann ein bisschen, uh, ja, so. Uh, es freut mich sehr, uh, dass du bei meinem Kanal bist. Ich hoffe, dass du alle der Video uh, anschaut, be beobachtet. Bienvenidos, amigos. I love this shit, by the way. I mean, you all might think that I really don't. I really like uh, blabbering, yammering to myself. Ich spreche ohne Zweck, zwecklose Sprechen. Biesmuslona. Biesmuslona. Ja prosto je list tolka govoril. Bies smusla. I'm not happy when the market is closed. I like it when the market is open. I don't like holiday. I don't like holidays. Uh, I prefer not holidays. Uh, so, das kann ich sagen. Ich weiß, dass früher uh, in einer meiner frühenden Videos habe ich was kann ich sehen gesagt. Ich weiß jetzt uh, um, an der Prüfung. Uh, dass das nicht recht war und dass uh, es was, um, was kann ich sagen uh, sein, sein sollen ja so wir warten jetzt wir waren mit einem Kontrakt Mujdium na Adnabo Kontrakte Je ne parle français. 
I don't know how to speak French, so I'm not even going to attempt that. I can understand some French. This is, you know, what I want to do with my life. Win, loss, come or the other. When you're doing something in your life that you know the Lord has not called you to do. Many of you are not religious. You don't believe in God. So just ignore all this and just pretend like I'm saying fortune and nature. But I do believe in God. So I will say that the Lord calls you. He might call you to be a doctor, an attorney, a preacher. He might call you to work construction. He might call you to be an author. Um, well, for me, the Lord has called me to do this. I know that. There's no doubt in my mind. So I'm happy to be here. Ich bin glücklich hier zu sein. Я очень рад того, что я здесь, и рынка открытая, открыта, краткое предложение. Нет, прилагатель, краткое прилагательное. Short adjective. Uh, by the way, if you're learning Russian, okay, short adjectives, you should use them. Краткое прилагательное, short adjectives. All right, we're short one. Uh, we're not loving it. We're waiting for this busy up here, um, this internal liquidity here that we just made up at uh, we'll at the three forty-eight three quarters. We don't love this position right now. I'm just making sure outside that nobody's taking my damn chairs. I really hate it when people take my chairs. And I will hunt them down. And I will sue them. I'm joking. In the past, I spoke really good German. In the Vergangenheit, um, könnte ich sehr gut Deutsch. Aber jetzt ist alles vorbei, alles vergessen. Es war mein Träum, in der Vergangenheit uh, eigentlich um, in Österreich oder in Bayern zu leben. Uh, aber nur für Reisen jetzt, würde ich sagen. I didn't really, um, we all are aware that this is my opinion, right? We've been through that. I didn't think that Germans uh, were very entrepreneurial. I don't think the spirit was there. Pretty much everybody that I met in Germany, you know, wanted to work in a small shop. Kind of like a very regular life. I didn't think they had the entrepreneurial spirit. Great people. But I didn't think they had that drive. I thought that was different. Everything in Europe was very expensive. Austria was very expensive. Um, except beer. But yeah, food was expensive. Um, the train, right, that was very cheap. Public transport. But everybody drives these tiny little cars and it's very, you know, urban. Except, right, when we went to Austria. Um, so, I don't think I'd want to live in Europe now. I want to travel there. I want to live there. I just didn't think they had the entrepreneurial spirit, the Germans. I really didn't. Not most of them. Like, I want to go start up my own business. I never heard that. Never heard that once. Here, you'll hear people say that. Like, I want to do my own company. I want to have my own company, do my own thing. I didn't hear that in Germany so much. Just an observation. 
paying for refills, that was, you know, a new experience. But I did lose weight. Ich hab uh, abgeworfen. Ab, ab mein Gewicht um, war weniger. We're excited to be here, guys. We know this is what we want to do with our lives. We're making me. I just want to do it with my life. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be with you. Um, one day, all right, if I'm in a better financial position, I'll probably put these up on live streams. Uh, but I'm not there yet. I can't handle the 20 question box. I really can't. It's uh, very distracting to me. So I don't want to hear your 20 questions. Y'all know how much of a disagreeable son of a bitch that I am. You know that I don't care what you think at all. Like not one iota, not a slight like tiny bit. If you want to get my attention, you got to come with facts and you got to come with a lot of them and it's got to be a good argument. Otherwise, I, I think you're full of it. Okay? And Lord forbid you have Forex in your name or FX in your name. Shoo away. Like, bye. And go talk to somebody else. You got FX in your name. Adios, amigo. Das vidlenia, tovarish. Yes, le. Of Tom Slutchai. U. Imini tvaevoa. U imini tvaevoa, yes, FX, stota, pa forexu. To pozelas the prosta. Pasli to da. Proč at mňa? Panimajam li moje drug, drugo? Drug druga? A te kak znajk nje efektivnosti? So, we're very caffeinated tonight. We have a lot of um, kafein, kafein, kafeine. Um, kafe haben wir viel getrunken. So, uh, wir sind sehr uh, aufgeregt. Um, so. Ja, ich habe fast drei Monate uh, in, in Deutschland und uh, ein bisschen Zeit uh, an der Österreich verbracht. Und Meiner Meinung nach der Europäischen Union zwar okay, aber ich würde sagen, dass die Europäer nicht die Geist der Entrepreneur hatten. Das war nur mein Gefühl davon. Es war sehr teuer, im Allgemeinen sehr teuer zu leben. Alle der, alle der alle der Essen war sehr teuer, aber, aber das Bier war sehr billig. So, ja, das Bier war sehr billig. Aber die deutsche äh, Folgen, deutsche Leute, die waren sehr äh, gut, waren sehr ähm, nett zu mir, sehr, sehr nette, sehr nette Leute zu mir. Sie haben, es war alles gut. Und ich will mehr nach, äh, nach Europa reisen. Als Zweifelsohne. Zweifelsohne. Das interessiert mich sehr. Ich würde sagen, dass jetzt meine Position äh, nicht, nicht so gut ist. Ähm, ich bin immer der Meinung, dass wir äh, nieder zu ähm, neuer Woche ähm, offenen Gap äh, angehen sind. Aber äh, weiß nicht jetzt. Wir sind äh, an der Mitte der Range. Muss ich die die Person?
Um, I love speaking Russian and German. Although my German skills have lost me. I have lost my German skills. But I'll work on it again. Um, guys, when you know... When you love what you're doing, and you know that this is what you want to do with your life, there's no better feeling than opening up the chart, even if it's one contract, even if it's simulated trading. You know you have a game plan, okay? You have, like, I was speaking with my father earlier. Here's exactly what I told him. I'm going to tell you all the career path, okay? It's a very realistic one, right? This is my business model. Right. Let's say that you're an entrepreneur uh, and you're going to a VC firm. That's a venture capital firm. You say, hey, um, listen, all right, you got the money. I got the idea. I got the new invention. I got the new product. You know, I'm going to sell you equity uh, and, and we'll work on this thing together. What do you do? You can't just go in there without a, a business plan. You have to have a game plan, like a very detailed one. Say, this is, you know, how I'm going to bring my product to market. These are who I'm looking at for distributors. You know, it could be Amazon, could be someone else. Uh, let's just say that you're selling some sort of product instead of like software. And you say, hey, listen, VC, all right, venture capitalist. Uh, we we both know that this thing might fail. Most new businesses do fail, but this is the game plan. Okay, this is th these are our projected sales growths. Okay, here's the product. Here's our expansion, our equity growth plan in the future. And some of you younger guys, you're hitting it a little bit too hard. What do I mean by that? Like, you got to crystallize what the game plan is. Like, you know, you want to take this stuff seriously? Like, you actually want to day trade professionally? I'll tell you how you do that. Okay? You crystallize a game plan. Don't do what I did and just go blow all of your money that you made from your job and just go blow it for no reason. Okay? If you're like 17, 18, 19 years old, um, I'll tell you the game plan. And it's a very realistic one, and it's something that can be done. I plan on having a three, I have a three-stage process, okay, and I'll tell it to you right now. Stage number one, I want to become funded again here with Top Step Trader, okay, and get paid as a 1099 contractor. Now... You know that my other profession, other than day trader, is attorney. And although I'm not a tax attorney, uh, I did take income tax in school. And I will tell you that from a tax perspective, you want to trade your own futures account. Why? Two reasons. Number one, 60-40 uh, futures split. Okay, So you go to a tax attorney, not to like an H&R block something, like go to an actual tax attorney as a day trader. He or she is going to know what I'm talking about. It's 60-40 futures day split, number one. Number two, it's um, the mark-to-market election. So go look up on your irs.gov website what is the mark-to-market election. Essentially, if you can demonstrate to the IRS that you are in and out of the market trading intraday volatility for a certain number of days, and it's like most every day, basically. Like you got to show the IRS that you are doing this for a living. Okay. At that point, you can take your losses as ordinary. What do I mean by that? Let's say that you're trading your own futures account on like TradeStation, Oanda, Thinkorswim. And yeah, I am a licensed attorney, and yeah, I did take income tax, so income tax. So yes, I can tell you this. Uh, so screw off if you think I don't know what I'm talking about. I do. Um, you can take your losses. So you know that if you run an LLC or you run an LP, you run a business that you can write off your expenses as ordinary losses. So you buy a building, you buy equipment, right? Those are your T and B deductions. That's like section 167 deductions. But you can take them off as T and B or trade and business deductions. Uh, the mark to market election allows a day trader, a futures trader to essentially do the same thing. Okay, to write off your losses as ordinary instead of capital losses. Capital losses are $3,000 a year ordinary losses it would be unlimited and so in addition to the futures benefit you get a mark to market election if you can demonstrate to the IRS that you are trading intraday volatility day in and day out you know you'd have to show them your brokerage 1099s you'd have to prove it to the IRS that you're doing that but once you can get there you tell your tax advisor your tax attorney 
yeah, I'm doing this on a daily basis. This is what I do as a career. It's what I do with, you know. So, but with your prop firm accounts, like a top step, you cannot do that. Uh, you're gonna be paid out as a 10, 1099 contractor. And regardless of the fact that you are day trading, uh, you're gonna make all of your gains and losses are all just gonna be ordinary income, which is suboptimal. So ultimately, you do wanna trade your own futures account as there are tax advantages in the United States to doing that. I talked to you about the two advantages. Number one, mark to market election. And number two, the futures, the 60-40 futures split. Okay, so we've talked about that. We've been through um, ordinary income, ordinary, the ordinary income deductions through that mark to market election. So you, you ultimately you wanna to get to your own account. Uh, there are tax benefits to that. But of course, if you have no money, you got to do what you have to do. You know, if you don't make any income, the IRS can't exactly tax you, right? Uh, okay, so with that being said, what is my business game plan? Number one, to become a professional day trader, right? To make money day trading. Yeah? Okay. Number two, that's going to take time, right? Number one is going to take time. First, I have to get funded. Then I have to demonstrate responsibility over time. And so then, after that, once I get into a live prop account, then I trade that, all right? Second income stream, YouTube, obviously, right? We know that, That's not. A, I'm not hiding that from you. Of course I wanna monetize this channel, that, of course, right? I wanna have a secondary income. Looking further down the road, some other options. Number one, selling options premium on my TradeStation account. So selling options premium, that's short-term capital gains. I'm not really trading options, I'm just selling premium. That's an option, that, it's an availability. But number two, it would be, uh, we're in a higher interest rate environment. And so income stream number three would either be selling options, uh, collecting premium over time, very slowly, very conservative options trades, right? Number, but other than that, it would be uh, interest-bearing bonds from the United States government. They're called I-bonds. Look them up. They're very, a very powerful tool for passive income. And then uh, certificates of deposit, so CDs. Interest rates are higher. You can actually make some money now on your CDs and on your bonds. Uh, I don't have enough capital to do that, obviously. I, I, so that's kind of a longer term, right, income stream. But that's my three-step process. Step number one become profitable day trading. Step number two, become a profitable YouTuber. Step number three, put some capital away into bonds and certificates of deposit and maybe sell options premium, sell options. Okay, three step process. Now, imagine that, right, you're trying to, you know, I, I got a guy on my last comment who asked me like, I don't know if I should go to college or not if you ever want to convince anyone of what you're doing, you've got to have a plan. And it's got to be crystallized like what I just told you. I can tell you exactly what my plan is. can tell you how I'm going to get there. Tell you that it's going to take time. Probably we're looking three to five years down the road. Uh, but it's a realistic plan. I'm not like, I'm not trying to get there tomorrow. Uh, I know that growing this YouTube channel is going to take time. I know that getting funded and then getting to the live prop account with Top Step Trader is also going to take time and work and dedication. But what is the ultimate objective? To live the life that I want to live, which means not having a boss, not having to kowtow or anything to anyone, and then being able to travel. I want to go to New Zealand. I want to go to Australia. I want to go back to Germany. I want to go to Russia, although, you know, with sanctions and stuff. I don't know if I could actually get to Russia but I'd like to go there at some point. Я, честно говоря, если бы я никогда бы путешествовал по Россию, я не знаю, я бы предпочитал использовать мои язычные способности в России благодаря тому, что я говорю по русскому языку, мне бы понравилось использовать мой русский язык в России. Не знаю. So, that's my three-step plan. 
And if you're a young guy, if you're 17, 18, 19 years old, and you're ever trying to like get there, you got to have a business plan. Like, and I'll tell you what I'm even thinking like 10, 15, 20 years down the road is start my own prop firm here in the great state of Texas. Companies are moving out of Chicago rapidly. Uh, you have hedge firms, you have hedge funds, you have trading companies that are moving to Florida. They're moving to this state, Texas. Uh, big ones too, legitimate ones, not like an apex. My opinion. My opinion, not defamation. My opinion, my opinion. Um, so, there it is. That's like 5, 10, 15 years down the road, passive income with uh, options premium, passive income with uh, certificates of deposit with bonds, interest-bearing bonds, uh, ordinary daily income coming in from day, uh, day trading, passive income coming in from YouTube, and then uh, passive income eventually coming in from uh, a bond, a, an interest-bearing account. Does that sound unrealistic to you? Does that sound like something that can't be done? Exactly, right? If you're 17, 18, 19 years old, you're like, I got no fucking idea what I'm doing. There's, there's a good model for you. There's my model. Uh, but you have to know that it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of time. A lot. Like years. Years. You ain't going to be balling in Bentleys tomorrow. Okay? Not futures trading. Maybe you get lucky on an options trade. Whatever. You get lucky on a call. It's possible. I wouldn't recommend it. Not good for the psyche. What? Did I just say that making a bunch of money quickly is not good for your psyche? Yeah. It's true. Look it up. Look up what happens to lottery winners. Look at look at what happens to them. It's and none of it's good. That's why they lock the lottery winnings now over years. Cause getting a lot of money really quickly and not earning it will fuck with you. It will it will mess you up. You won't feel like you earned it. At this point, I'll tell you, my friends, I know if I get there, I earned it. Because I went to zero, and now we're coming back up from zero. <laughs> so, my psyche will not be affected by quick winnings. Another good piece of advice there. My opinion. If for whatever reason you get a big day trading, you didn't even mean to like get a big day, you know, you're trading an options contract or you're trading futures and you have one very big day, take a break. Take a break and be like, the Lord has blessed me and stop. Let your psyche reset. All right. Got a lower high. Still thinking new week opening gap. I'll let this runtime maximum of this video go up to one and a half hours. Maximum. the same direction. It's called
You know, Russia is a sanctioned country, and I can't imagine that you could trade top step in Russia as it is sanctioned. Actually, I know you can't. Я очень рад быть здесь с вами. Let's see what this guy had to say in Discord. Practice in Russian. Привет всем. Ищу единоличника по форексу трейдингу, так сказать. Трейдинг бади. Не знаю об этом. Основная цель, совместная работа над дисциплиной и, конечно, шлейф, шлейфовка стратегии. Я не профи, я бы, я бы представил, что это значит профессиональный, но и не новый человек э, в розовых очках, заинтересирован, заинтересирован в долгосрочной перспективе, а не в быстрых деньгах. Если есть у кого интерес в совместном развитии, пишите личку. Всем пипсов. I'm just asking, you know, give me somebody to copy trade. Решение. Больше практики и больше чести. Мы должны благодарить Бога и верить, что у нас и тяжелая работа добросовестна. Мы должны доверить эту тяжелую работу Богу, чтобы Бог доставил нам наш успех. Как, когда мы разочаров... Разо... разочаровываемся или взволнованием и хотим уйти от системы, мы должны сохранять веру и мир в то, что наша дисциплина принесет нам богатство. Мы также должны радоваться тому, что при отсутствии не Посредственство богатства, проведение дела самой по себе является наградой. All right, so we just practice some Russian there. And that guy was basically, you know, just there also kind of saying some nonsense. Uh, let's get back to the chart. I know that's what y'all want to see. Y'all are like, the fuck is this guy doing? Why is he talking in Russian? I can't understand a word he's saying. I understand. I'm back to it. Back on the NQ. Okay, stop worrying. I was just practicing my Russian. Okay, we're there. Yeah, most of y'all people that watch my channel, you're just like, what that guy, what the fuck was that? Sorry. Not sorry. Oh man, I love these markets so much. Y'all have no idea. This, I'm so excited. I, I have the opportunity uh, to do this in my life. Really, um, there's no doubt about this. Is this is it, baby? Watching the candles dance. This is what it's about.
All right, so what does it mean to trade efficiently? You'll hear me use that term a lot. Notice here on the one minute NASDAQ, all of our candles are overlapping, right? All of them are overlapping. Now notice up here, right, that little gap up there has remained open. So you didn't see that price came back, curled in, and redelivered it, right? Which was a good sign that price was going lower. Now it's not the only sign that you need, right? But uh, notice here that we're trading efficiently. We do have a lower high. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, I got people like, Reese, I want to talk to you. You know, uh, I want to get together with you and uh, these things. Like, no. No. Not for free. Like, if you pay me, maybe. Uh, but not for free. Um, sorry. It's not really what I want to do. Not for free. And then if, you know, if you do pay me, then I run afoul of, like, financial advisor stuff. I could probably, you know, get away with it anyways. But, uh, just for free? Like, what are you offering me? There's no one, there's virtually no one, there's a couple, like, no one has studied this stuff more than I have. Very few. So, you're getting everything from me, and, you're, and I'm, what am I really getting from you? Right? A lot. Okay, uh, what do we see here? Um, we're probably looking at, unfortunately, a lost position. We'll see how the market develops. Um, we're probably going to push up into uh, 15,350. At that point, you know, maybe we maybe we uh, realize a loss here and take on a new position if we get higher. Um, I think that I've gone short here in the middle of the range. I, I might be getting wedded to this new week opening gap idea. Um, you know, it is currently acting as support. Um, so let's take a look at our 10 minute chart. Let's take a look at our, let's go down to five. We're probably looking right up here, 15,349. That's probably what we're looking at. At which point I am liable to add on another contract. We're probably looking at at least here 351 spot 50 if price comes up. Uh, and I'll probably just add on another contract there. So rather than close this out, we will cost average into this position slowly, slowly, pamelina, друзья, slowly. Товарищи, помедленно. Nicht alle an einer Zeit. Nicht gleichzeitig. All right, go listen to this ITC, ICT.
Okay, so, um, guys, ICT just came out with a new video. Now, who is ICT? I mean, for some reason you're watching this channel, you have no idea who, about whom I'm speaking. Uh, he's on, he's Inner Circle Trader, he's from whom I've learned everything. Uh, his name is Michael Huddleston, and you should uh, go check him out. I learned all of my models from him. I am, uh, you know, eternally grateful to him, although he doesn't know that. And he said he wants his privacy respected, so I uh, will follow that lead, and I will not disturb him further. Uh, but needless to say, I'm obviously immensely grateful. Okay. We're probably looking at adding on, adding on contract number uh, two here soon. Not yet. He has a new video out, and it is entitled ITC Mentors ICT Mentorship 2023 <sighs> Advanced Theory on ICT. ICT on ICT Breaker. Guys, you got to go. I mean, this stuff is critical. You got to be watching. Y'all, as you know, very quick video. Immediately. So let's talk about let's talk about why I added on the second contract there. Let's talk about why it's two contracts, why it was there, my reasoning, and I'll give it to you. All right, three minute chart here. We see you have a high, we have a lower high, then we have a lower high, all around this volume imbalance at which we would expect price to uh, react. So you could s see I didn't want to add on the second contract prematurely. I didn't want to add it on. Uh, until I felt pretty confident the market's probably coming down. Now, guys, what is the most important part of, of ICT trading? It's the draw on liquidity. Okay, it's the draw on liquidity. Right now, there's a big fat hole in the chart and it's sitting below price. Okay, now in addition to that, we obviously are going to have some liquidity, right? Between inefficiencies and liquidity, you should already be able to answer this in your head. Which one comes first? What is the priority? It's inefficiency. So we have a big hole in the chart, okay? Very visually striking, there it is, there's a hole in the chart. We know that the hole in the chart is going to be a draw on price. But in addition to that, right, secondary reason, we have relatively equal lows here, right? So we have liquidity and we have efficiency, inefficiency sitting below price. Um, now, entry, we're waiting to see those lower highs before we add on a second contract, and obviously, uh, risk management, folks. We're not adding on 30 contracts. We're not, uh, you know, we're not trying to gamble here. We're trying to trade reasonably over time. So, you notice my position immediately goes back into drawdown, right? But it's not 
life-threatening drawdown because I only have two contracts on. Do I feel pretty strongly that price is coming going to come into this gap? Yeah. Am I willing to blow out my top step account on it? No. No. It's all balance, guys. It's all balance. Um, that's what some of y'all are missing. It's what I was missing. It's it's balance, guys. It's it's balance. Balance. Gleichgewicht. I think balance is also also like how can Deutsches Wort? Weiß nicht. But um, it is your. It is no point to balance it. Should be balanced. So. You don't want to take on 30 contracts just because you feel good about this one trade. There will be more trades. All right, this thing might be a long trade if we come all the way through New Week opening gap. Could be a long. Not yet, though. It's not a long yet. Okay? We're not blowing out our accounts on one trade, right? We're trying to get past that. We're trying to get past that. We're trying to develop. Let's be right. Let's be So, we're working on developing risk management. We're not adding on all of our contracts at one time. We're not trading multiple accounts at once. I'm not doing the Apex 20 accounts at one time. That's casino, in my opinion. That's very casino, in my opinion. Okay? I'm not even trading two or three top step accounts. I'm trading Adin, one, Raz, eins, uno, un. I'm trading one. Okay, I'm not even trading two products. I'm trading one. Okay, why? I'm trading a, a a balanced right. We've talked about balance. What else goes into balance? <sighs> if you're trading an automated system, it's all mechanical, and I don't think that's any fun, personally. Have not having to think. I'm trading a mixture between discretion and mechanic, right? You'll notice that I'm looking at the mechanics of the market, high, lower high, lower high. Okay, volume imbalance, inefficiency, inverting, should act as resistance, should turn us lower. Draw on liquidity should be below these lows and into the new week opening gap. That's mechanical, okay? Discretionary is, when do I want to toss on that second contract? And I toss it on there. Perfect, obviously I was a few points off. But that's the balance between discretionary and mechanical that some of you are missing. You can't strip away your mind. I, I'm sorry, it's there. You can't. You can't strip it down to pure mechanical. Not unless you're, you know, you have a lot of money, you have an automated system. At which point, okay. But if you are trying to point and click trade, got to use the discretion too, guys. So the runtime of this video is getting up. Uh, 55 minutes. So I don't want to see it go on too much longer. Now, right, price is moving against me. And I might have to close this position out for a loss. That's why I didn't add on 30 contracts. I can add on 10. I'm at 2. So that's important. very caffeinated <sighs> drank a big black rifle coffee coffee drink uh, I'm very caffeinated so I have to <sighs> bring it down but I'm happy to be here with you in spirit Um, if you know me, if you know Reese personally, screw off. Don't contact me. I don't care what you think, and I don't care what you think my life choices are. So, shoo. Don't contact me. This is what I want to do with my life. It's not your life to live. It's... Moi, it's moi. Minya. Meine. Mein Leben zu leben.
Okay, so you think that you know I'm a freaking idiot for trying this? Chill. Get that negativity away from me. Like, be gone. Adios, amigo. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't email me. Stick. Mind your own freaking business. Really hate that. People will see me on here. They're like, "Oh, I know Reese. Let's call him. Let's tell him how much of an idiot he is." How about you, uh, buzz off? They're screaming outside. They're very loud. Quite loud. Ochin gromka. Ochin. Ochin 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 gromka. Of no three. Zea loud da drausen. Zea. I feel yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna charge my phone and stuff. Yeah, and I got a lot of people asking me on YouTube, on Discord, uh, what is a fair value gap? Do I trade BTC? I, you know, can we make like you know morning meetings where we're you know we're no, no, niet, ni chachu, mnie inter, mnie interesen, interesna, ni chachu. These markets move quickly. I'm going to explain to you why. Number one, none of you have studied ICT and algorithmic theory as hard as, as I have. Like, no. Like, okay, I'll prove it to you. All right, because, yeah, you're, you want evidence. There they are. And they're, they're full. Yeah. There's number two. You see writing on every page. So what are you going to offer me, right? Mm. Nothing. You have not studied this as much as I have. That's period. You haven't. So you want a game plan with me? Get to work, buddy. Figure it out yourself. Sorry. Now, if you want to hire me to teach you some of these models, maybe. But you, I'm not giving it you for free. Bisplatna, niet. I'm a, a businessman. It's kind of sad. Yeah, businessman. So I've got, you know, people like, hey, I want to talk to you. Hey, you know, teach me this stuff. Put me an offer on the table. All right? Uh, put me an offer on the table. Maybe. I'll talk to you. What are, you, what are you gonna offer me though, right? Like, what? You gotta come to the table with something. You can't just say, hey, Reese, I want a game plan with you. Like, you gotta bring something, like, worth my time. I'm not trying to be mean to you. You're just not getting free shit out of me. This is what it is, right here. If you want to learn from me without paying, Subscribe to the channel. Watch the videos. If you want to learn from me and you're willing to pay, send me a real offer. Okay, and if it's like, hey, I want to give you 20 bucks, away. Go away. Proch. Okay. If you come with me a serious offer, like, hey, 500 bucks for an hour, you know, these are the ideas I want to go over. I want to go over advanced gap theory. I want to go over market structure. Okay. Now we're talking. Now you got my attention. You know, for free, what are you going to bring to the table? That's just how the world works. I'm sorry. Okay. And so many of you are going to ask me all the time, and I'm, I'm just going to address this pretty much in every video, like, no, not for free. Sorry. I've got a couple guys 
with whom I speak on Discord, like four. Okay? And that's all I want. No one has studied more ICT than me. And if they have, that status will not last very long. Uh, if there's one thing that the Lord has given me, it is an ability to study. Okay? I've proven that throughout my entire life. And with ICT, it's no different. So, you want to watch someone who, who has studied ICT, here it is. I've shown you the proof. I've shown you the notebooks. I've shown you on the chart. Every video. Here it is. So don't come to me with your, I want a game plan with you. What are you going to offer me? You're going to ask me a bunch of questions. And you got to put in the work yourself. And by the way, it's not just ICT. Like you can understand market structure like high, lower high, lower high, lower high. That's not critical. You can even understand here inverted volume imbalance, right? So price trades, it's not really inverted. Price trades back up into this inefficiency, you know, re-delivers it, rebalances it, and now we're moving back down. We know that the draw on liquidity should be lower. Does not mean I'm going to win this trade, okay? I could lose it. But I'm telling you that what the draw on liquidity should be is it should be back to the gaping hole in the chart. The gaping hole known as new week opening gap is down here. Price should be attracted. But you'll notice that I'm not just using ICT concepts. Like I'm also using risk management because I have lost many thousands of dollars and I'm tired of losing thousands of dollars. I'm tired of being a freaking loser at trading. And, you know, unfortunately, a lot of you guys that are coming from my foreign audience, you're all Forex people, and I'm sorry I don't trade Forex. Not really. Okay. I will look at... All right. A gentleman earlier, you know, asked me, would you please have a look at gold? And I gave him my analysis of gold on a higher time frame. I'm happy to do that for you. If you are a long-term subscriber and you're like, Reese, I want you to go look at gold. I want you to go look at crude oil. I want you to look at the ES. Okay? I can do that for you. All right? I can do that for you. But, you know, like daily meetings with you for free? No. You have not studied this as much as I have. You, you haven't. There's no way that you have. It is highly unlikely. I grew a full beard studying it. Model 2022, Scout Sniper. Model 2023, the whole 2023 mentorship. Core content. Pretty much every video twice. All right. Market Maker Primer Series. Yeah, I've been through that. All right. Short Term Scalping Excellence is one of his video series is on short term scalping. Yep. Watch the videos on commodities and on macro trends. Yep. Watch that too. And all of them, like, pretty much twice. You have not studied more than me. You haven't. Okay. I'm very caffeinated right now. I'm sorry. I'm a very highly combative person. I don't trust any of you. Uh, that's just how I am. Sorry. So you won't always hear me. I've talked about this before, but you're going to see different sides of me. When you're watching my videos, you're going to see like mean Reese. You're going to see nice Reese. You're going to see sad Reese. You're going to see tired Reese. You're going to see like I'm a rat in a box. And you're going to see all of it. Okay, um, three minute chart. We're slowly working our way down to the hole on the chart. But it is gonna take time. Do we get there? Maybe. I'm not adding on contract three. So yeah, I'm not giving you I'm not giving you like free coaching sessions. No. You have to pay me. And give me a real offer too, not not twenty dollars. And I don't even know why you would like want like guys. I'm giving you like free on YouTube, so you really like for some reason you think that my videos are not enough. And they should be enough. Now, if you're one of those people, 
and you just unsubscribe from me because you're like, damn, this guy is an asshole. Goodbye. Adios. Das vidanya. Ciao. Bella ciao. Bella ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Tschüss. Adios. Hasta la vista, amigo. Because this is how I am. And I'm not changing. Мы друг другу понимаем? Понимаем ли мы? Verstehen wir einander oder nicht? You have not studied this as much as I have. Does not mean that I'm a master trader yet by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not. But when it comes to ICT, yeah, I've studied my ass off. That's a fact. Okay, and that does not mean that I'm always going to get things right. Have we been through that enough? Like, I'm, you're going to see me lose sometimes. Have we, have we covered that? We've discussed that? And I know that some of you, certain Canadian out there, you're going to be like, that, what I just did there is going to really bother you, and I'm sorry, skip through it. Mute me. Don't watch me. Just watch the chart. Mute me. All right, guys, we can find solutions to my bad personality sometimes, right? Mute. Zvuk at kluchon. Если это тебе не нравится, то что то что я говорю о том о том что я говорю, то звук от кучон или прочь отсюда. Es wird sich nicht verändern. Ja, ich werde nicht mich verändern. Seitdem, dass ich geboren bin, bin ich sowieso. Und es wird sich nicht verändern. Bis zum ich tot bin. What are we looking at here? We're looking at price that came down to this black candle here, found some support, immediately came back up into our volume imbalance. It's not really what we wanted to see price do. We wanted to see price start to traverse its way to the new opening gap. We know that. Is the trade idea dead in the water? Not yet. Is Am I happy with what I'm seeing price do right now? You know, come down to our BISI here, find some support, halfway that BISI, we haven't fully filled it. No. Uh, I'm pretty convicted that price is going to want to come in and iron out the big hole in the chart. But, that being said, I'm not blowing my account on it. I'm going to end the final statement here on that topic. Before you ask me, like, hey, Reese, I want to talk to you, uh, I want to game plan with you, I want to do this and that, uh, you have to provide something, you have to bring a proposition to the table, meaning you have to pay me. Otherwise, why, what, is, what, is, what is in my interest to do that? You have not studied as hard as me in these concepts. You have nothing to bring to the table in relation to how much work I've put in. And so it would really not provide me any benefit. So that being said, if you would like private tutorials, that's fine. You will have to provide me with a serious financial offer. And then I will consider it. Okay? But we're probably going to have to go through, if you decide that you want to go that route, you want to reach out, you do want to pay me. We're going to have to go through, probably going to have to draft up a quick contract. Uh, we're going to have to get out a lot of disclosures on that because I cannot be advising you financially. Okay? So we're going to have to probably work some things out there. I, I have a license that I have to protect. 
you know, I'm not using it. So a lot of these people, like on Telegram and stuff, they got nothing to lose. So it is what it is. I have something to lose. So I can't just go out there and start offering stuff for, for money unless we've got an understanding that I'm not giving you financial advice and blah, 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 blah. Okay? I can't just go out there like these guys on Telegram and start doing that. Not without some firm disclosures and contracts in place. Even if it's a simple contract. Okay? So that way, you can't come later and say, Hey, you know, this guy told me to do this and I'm going to go sue him. Because I know you people. You will. Have we been clear that I don't trust you at all? Yeah, I'm very excited right now. Obviously, um, I had a big, uh, like, iced coffee can, basically, a lot of caffeine. So, uh, obviously, I'm very excited right now. I think that's clear to everyone, uh, and I'm rambling. You know, it's kind of difficult to go on these videos and kind of record myself for over an hour and talk the whole time and keep your interest without talking. <laughs> So you'll have to forgive me. Many of you are going to be like, this guy's off the rails. I totally understand that. I want to be clear. Yeah, I had a big can of coffee. Okay, iced coffee. And that's where we're at. Okay. I kind of want to get to uh, the ICT video. I kind of want to move forward from this. I'm going to leave the runtime here going for another maybe 10 minutes. Uh, this trade does not appear to be materializing anytime soon. Uh, we have high, lower high, lower high, lower high, higher high, so we're currently looking at diapason, meaning range. So, you know, how quickly we make our way down to the hole in the chart, I don't know. I really don't know. All right, I was looking at these standard deviation projections earlier. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete those. I don't think those are relevant at this current moment. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I think people, like, forget that, like, I have money to make. Like, I, I got to, like, feed myself. And I, I, this is a simulated account, brothers. I can't feed myself on fake money. So, yeah, you want to talk to me, that's great. I'm, I'm sure that you're a nice person, but, like, for free? How am I going to uh, buy soup with that, with your free? I'm not. How am I going to buy rice with your free? Okay. I'm not. I'm just not. I have to run a business here. I'm sorry. It's like no choice. I, I have to pay bills. And you know, you want to talk to me, and I understand you're probably a nice guy, but you haven't studied this as much as I have. Not in, not in one in a hundred years, have you? So what are you bringing to the table? If the answer is, like, not a lot, you're probably trading something that I'm not trading. I pretty much only trade the NQ, maybe the ES. I trade stock in index futures for the most part. What are we doing? You're kind of wasting my time. Sorry. Lo siento. Prashu prashenya. Stut mir leid. Das kann ich sagen kind of wasting my time so now you're not wasting my time if you're watching this video you you know learning through the video this is really my video journal it's mostly for me but I'm putting it out there on YouTube obviously to get another in income stream going um, so you're not wasting my time watching the video at all you would be wasting my time if you asked me to like talk to you further without paying me. That that would be wasting my time. But th just watching my video. No, please do. Obviously, please do. Okay. What are we looking at here? I mean, this is very difficult price action for me to read. All the candles are overlapping. You know, what I'm worried about here in the five-minute chart, what about which I'm concerned. Okay. Counter to my position. Contra position. 
354 spot 50 wick inefficiency that's number one I'm, I'm watching that I'm concerned about that also concerned with this SIBI right here and that's 349 spot 75 so that being said if I see price want to come out and take out these highs you know it does not appear like it wants to turn immediately lower I might just call this a loss and uh, move on with my life that being said um, I, I, I'm not quite there yet all right, but that's kind of where we are right now. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, the runtime of this video is one hour and 20 minutes long. I'm going to let this go another 10 minutes, and then I'm going to pull it, uh, start up a new video. Um, what you just heard from me is ego, okay? I have an ego, uh, even though I want to get rid of it. It's there. I'm a, walk I'm a traitor. I'm a walking contradiction. Okay? So there's going to be more of you guys that are probably offended or upset by what I just did. And, uh, sorry? Like, not sorry? Now, when you are an attorney, and I, not that I'm treating you as my clients, you are not my client, but one of the things about being an attorney is you have to be frank with your clients. In fact, it's actually uh, in the Texas Rules of uh, Ethics. Um, it's in the model. It's in the model rules. You must be competent, and you must be frank, full, and honest with your clients. You are not my client, but I've developed that habit of telling you how it is. Not because I dislike you. Not because I'm impolite. I'm a very polite person. If you met me in person, I really am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Thank you. All that. But when people will come to me for legal advice, and I'm not advising you, would be, you know, one of your, like, professional duties is to be honest. Okay? That's why I'm honest with you. Not because I dislike you. I've developed that habit from my profession. Okay. 
So why are we not adding on contract three here? Well, I mean, I'm not seeing it yet, right? It's not there. Do have a lower high and lower high. We also have this low here, though. So that's why I'm not really interested in contract number three right now. Okay. The I'm going to let the runtime of this video go for one hour and a half. We'll stop it there. You know, eventually, eventually videos like this are going to get out to people that I know. And I don't care what you think. Please don't call me. Like your opinion means diddly squat. Okay. Do I feel great about this position right now? No, I do not. Um, you know, there's a big hole on the chart, but price does not want to quite get there. And I don't really want to see what I'm seeing. It's not, you know, this is why I'm not adding on a third contract. I don't see really anything definitively that I want to see. 15 minutes, a lot of nothing. 10 minutes, a lot of nothing. Five minutes, a lot of nothing. One hour. Something there, right? Okay. So, I'm not trying to be mean to you. I assure you, I don't care about you at all. I would rather see you succeed than not succeed. Why not? But these trading algorithms don't care about you. You gotta have to get used to that. Like, that's how these markets work. They're conflict on a chart. Conflict on a chart. So you should come at this more like mixed martial arts than you should like Kumbaya Circle. It's not Kumbaya Circle. Uh, it's not. It's a war. It's conflict. It's a WAR. I probably shouldn't say that on a YouTube video. Uh, there are companies out there, I think, like Top Step, that will treat you well. I give you a good opportunity. But uh, make no mistake, guys. You're up against the best in the world here. It might not look like it right now. I promise you, you are. You are up against the best in the world, and you've got a lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do. Okay? Okay. Not in the business of lying to you. I might be mean to you, but I'm not in the mis business of lying to you. We'll see in the last five minutes of this recording if Price wants to, you know, give us some movement. Right now, it doesn't seem like it. Check out our other instruments. Dollar index is broadly higher. Most of our risk assets are lower, except copper. You know, copper having a good move up tonight. Okay. So. You know, and if people are reviewing my channel from Top Step, I want to say, uh, you know, if I'm not your type of affiliate, I, I understand. I'm a pretty blunt guy. Uh, and I think that I can 
even without a top step affiliate, I, I do believe that I can get there. Um, I hope that y'all understand that I'm not trying to be mean to anyone. It's really not uh, my objective. I have been professionally trained to be honest. And sometimes that comes across as meanness, but it's not. It has been my professional duty, to be honest. In my honest opinion. Okay? It's my professional duty. I have to. So, if there's top step people that review this, I think that your company is a great model. I think it's probably the industry leader. It is the industry leader. Is it perfect? No. Is it way beyond the competition? Yeah, it is. De definitely is. That's why I can't advertise the other one anymore. Can't advertise it. Because it's not the leader. It's just not. Sorry. It's not. So, do I really want to live my life as company man? No. I don't think as a Top Step affiliate I have to do that. I don't know. I, I'll get back with them on that. I don't think that this YouTube channel is big enough for them to even, you know, wince at it. I think I can get there. I know. I know that if I put in the work on this YouTube channel, day in and day out, consistently upload, that the audience will get there that Top Step might look at it. But am I going to be there tomorrow? Nope. Going to be there this week? Nope. But it can be done, guys. But it's work. It is work. And I have a unique delivery and a unique style. I'm a highly disagreeable person, and that's not going to change. I totally understand if Top Step is like, this guy is too crude. I don't, I, we don't want him. I get that. I get that. But I'm going to keep working on them. Keep working on this YouTube channel. Keep working on day trading. That's what we're doing here. Keep giving you my honest opinion on things. I'm a, I, I might sound mean to you, but I'm not in the business of lying to you. Okay. All right. Market's not going anywhere anytime soon. So uh, we're probably I'm gonna let the runtime of this video go over to uh, one and a half hours. Um, if the market starts moving again, whether against me or for me, I'll start up a new recording. Uh, I'm sorry I can't finish this recording with a with a demonstrated trade. Uh, I will tell you again why I'm short. Big, there's a large hole in the chart, and it is lower. Therefore, uh, I think it should be drawn to said hole. As it stands right now, hard to say. So, it has been a pleasure speaking with you. I hope that y'all are doing well, uh, and good luck trading. This has been live in Q trading on a st uh, top step, step two. It is Sunday. The time is 2315, New York local time, the year of our Lord, 2023. Um, I've given you my opinion on things, and that's going to be that. Bye.